They have an entire Garfield movie display right now at Walmart, completely loaded with brand new Garfield merchandise. We're outside of the Walmart right now. I can't wait to see what they have. Let's get into it. Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And today is gonna be an epic one because it's Garfield movie video. I am hyped for the Garfield film coming out. This is one of many Garfield videos I've already done and there's only more to come as we get closer and closer to the movie being released. You know the drill. Garfield the movie baby camera flip. Time to go to the vet. We're gonna need the big scale. I could not wait. Like I said, we did an Olive Garden video where we tried the Olive Garden lasagna, picked up some merch in that video at some stores, and we didn't find as much as we wanted because we went to Walmart and they didn't have anything, but they told us they were gonna have a Garfield display. So this video is kind of was kind of foreshadowed by the last Garfield one, and that day has finally come. They have a Garfield display. I got Karina with me. She's my Garfield homie. So <laughs> we're gonna go on in there and see what new products they have in store. Let's go ahead and do it, guys. All right, so we are in the Walmart, and this area is right where Disneyland is, so it's crazy to see how much Disneyland stuff they actually have because it's for people to get, like, you know, some last-minute uh, Disney supplies, I guess. They have bubble guns and everything, so if it comes to Disney, this is probably the location we should go, but I'm looking for the Garfield display today, okay? It's not about the mouse today. It's about the top cat, the, the, the big boy himself, Garfield. Okay, so here it is. We found the Garfield display. That is so adorable. <laughs> it's got the Lady and the Tramp moment there, except for Garfield's cut in the actual pasta. He's like, I'm not letting this go down. <laughs> and then over here, we have some of the items. A little smaller than I expected, but I think it just looked bigger in pictures. So we're gonna go ahead and grab some stuff. The display looks so cool. We're gonna go ahead and grab the pop chips. I remember for the TMNT movie, they had the pedos, remember? Yeah. Yeah, but this one's a little different. Pop chips actually sound a little bit better, not gonna lie. Still vegan, but they're nacho. 50% less fat than fried chips. <laughs> so we're gonna grab this. Look at the little drink container. <laughs> They're all cute. I love this one. This It's like, I wanna say it's insulated, but it's just like a little drink, uh, what is it called? A little drink tumbler. He is so cute Next though. Stanley. Living the dream. That's he has. Get out of the way, Stanley. It's Zach, who's been around since like <laughs> 1998. <laughs> Forever, basically. So this one's really cool. What I'm gonna grab for sure is the pop chip. I already grabbed that. I didn't even realize I put them in my cart already, like subconscious. Consciously, I just already put them in there. We're gonna grab this too. This is a cookie build kit here. So it looks like it's already kind of done. And then you actually just color in the icing. So that's a lot of fun. We're gonna grab that. And what's interesting is you'll see it's actually Nickelodeon branded. This is the Garfield movie display, but they still have it over here. Like I said, Nickelodeon's really taking advantage of the whole uh, opportunity with the movie. What's interesting is if you go on the Paramount movie website, they're actually selling Garfield movie merchandise, even though the movie is being done by Sony. So I think that they're definitely uh, in cooperation with like the cooperating with each other to make this whole thing happen. So I definitely think that this is kind of the merch is still going both into both people's pockets somehow because otherwise it wouldn't be selling it on the Paramount site. But it's good because you get to see a lot of Nickelodeon products alongside with the Sony stuff that's coming out. So let's go ahead and grab a few more items here and take a look. spotted these right here these little drink cups those are really really cute too i'm gonna be honest though i was looking for these life-size they have these life-size garfield plushies ryan will put it up on screen here they don't have that but i'm still gonna look around and we'll see what we can find what are you doing here little foot <laughs> We have Land Before Time's complete collection, which is actually pretty cool, but it doesn't need to be here. We have the Garfield movie, the book, Novelize. That, I think we're gonna have to grab. And this is one of the things I was looking for the most. That's yes, so the little golden book. So the Garfield movie book, we're gonna grab this. And then they also have the Garfield soundtrack, which is a actual album you can see here. It's limited edition Garfield vinyl. I'm thinking about this one too. It's still a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> Or should you have expected anything less? I mean, come on, they're Garfield stickers. <laughs> a couple of books though here. We have another one here straight out the film. Oh, we're gonna get spoiled. I know, I was I was kind of closing my eyes to be honest while you did that, but I was like, okay, I'll keep filming, but my eyes are closed. 
<laughs> Look, they have toothbrushes. <laughs> With all those lasagna munchies, you gotta clean your teeth out. So we have three Garfield toothbrushes too. Those are awesome. What does it say down there? I hate Mondays, of course. <laughs> Garfield is the icon of hating Mondays. He's like the, 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 the mascot of that whole thing. What do you got here? Eat, sleep, repeat, Garfield. There is some cool ones. I think I gotta grab a Garfield shirt too. If they have my size, I'll get lucky, but maybe not. We'll see. We'll see what we can find. But why do I want to get this Garfield cat litter? I don't have a cat, but I want the cat litter just because of its box. <laughs> It's kind of cool, right? It but is. what will I do with it's the cat? Smart. It's smart. <laughs> what will I do with the cat litter, though? <laughs> Go hunting. Should I? Uh, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. But man, do I wish I had a cat right now, specifically for this. I guess I'm not gonna leaving it. What am I gonna do with this? It's so heavy. <laughs> Jiggy what we grabbed so far. We did get a lot of stuff though, so I can't complain. We did get pretty lucked out here. The vinyl is really cool, and this was one of the items I wanted the most. It's so adorable. I love these little golden books too. Oh my gosh, I actually need that SpongeBob one. Happy birthday, SpongeBob. I don't even have that one for his 25th anniversary. Yeah, I still need, I actually have this one, the original one, the vintage version, but definitely need to look out for the SpongeBob one. I'm not getting it. I'm just seeing how much it costs, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have to do a taste test when we get back with these right here so you could try them out and i could try them out they are uh, vegan too and then this i'm gonna try them out I, i'm not gonna keep these sealed this just sounds too good so we're gonna try this out too but i'm gonna go check in the actual toy section and see if we can luck out and maybe find one of those garfields like somebody put it back and then they put it in the toy section ah uh, <laughs> yeah, wishful thinking. I mean, we've seen anything else. I'll let you guys know, too, that's just cool in general, but mostly looking for that. I don't know if the Garfield stuff's gonna, like, be as, like, lasting as the TMNT stuff is, but, I mean, we're still getting merch for Mutant Mayhem. We have these new farters. <laughs> you have Leo farted. See, they fart any different. We got Leo. He's got, oh, he's got a little tailwind, too. Uh, did it have that? It did. So you actually could... <laughs> Oh my <laughs> so little turp, they're only five dollars too. Those are actually really cool. They're little whoopee cushions here of the different turtles. I would be shocked though if we see Garfield stuff like almost a year after the movie comes out though, but oh, I'm here for it. All right, so we are out of there. Uh, we are gonna be looking at the five below because they got some new merch too, but I don't know if it's anything we didn't already get, but I'm still excited to see. And it was kind of intense in there, huh? Yes. <laughs> it was just like really, the security was super tight because it's so close to Disneyland. It's a big Disneyland. Walmart too. It's the big Walmart. When I was looking for the Garfield display, where's my car? I'm just like walking in it's way down there. We were going the whole different direction. <laughs> but I was calling a different Walmart to see if they had this Garfield display. And every Walmart that I called that was close to my house, they were like, oh, call the one in Euclid. Call the one in Anaheim. That's the big Walmart. That's the big Walmart. And I was like, okay, I give up. I'm calling the big Walmart. And, you know, I, we, we made it here and they actually did have it. <laughs> so shout out to the big Walmart. But, you know, I guess their security is a little tighter. They're like, hey, man, we got the Garfield display. Do you think we, uh, you think we get things like that? We're just letting people walk out of here. We're the big Walmart. <laughs> we can't just let you stroll on through self checkout. We had to go through like three security stops to get out of there with this Garfield merch. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> what do you think we are, cat burglars? <laughs> Let's go ahead and head over to Five Below. That's always a good sign. SpongeBob, me boy, me Bob. Let's go ahead and get in there. I didn't think they'd have this, but we're in Five Below right now, and they have. Sandy fig pins, but I don't think this design is from the first wave they did. I think these are like new ones. They must have been doing a new wave of SpongeBob fig pins. But the fact that we're seeing Sandy merch in the wild is insane. And she's the only character I'm trying to see back here. Yeah, it's all Sandy. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna grab that for sure. That's so strange. Ryan will pop up the image for the first wave of the SpongeBob fig pins. I don't think this is the same Sandy. I could be wrong though. Have you're looking for mystery? items they have these spongebob 25th anniversary pop-ups so not garfield but i'm so glad we came in here too and they have these <laughs> what even is that <laughs> that's so cool though and they're cute. oh i think we they're little tiny figurines like this big oh, it's only three dollars though that's so cute so okay My favorite is this one okay so we're going to get one of those <laughs> and uh i'm gonna grab uh oh man these things are like what five bucks probably 
I was gonna do a bonus video where I try to aim for the entire set, but there's only six in it. I just don't really think there's gonna be like too hard to really complete. And they're really small too. So I think every single time we come to five below, I'll try to get like one or two of them. We'll try to complete the set that way. It's an ongoing series. Hopefully they have them long enough for that, but I think it's gonna be something that's around for a bit. So I'm just gonna get one this time just to see who we can get. I honestly, you know, I'm in a Sandy mood right now. I'd love to get the Sandy out of this set. <laughs> and also in SpongeBob Candy, there's a brand new Krabby Patty mystery game that just came out well it's coming out i've already got some pre-ordered and we're going to be filming a bonus video on that too so that's on topic too being a bonus video um so we'll probably see that in five below eventually too maybe but it's a full mystery menu even bigger than the combo kit they released with a bunch of items so stay tuned that video will be coming too so for those of you guys that have already seen it and letting me know thank you guys but yeah it's going to be coming all right so we are back we got everything here let's check it out i can't wait to see what i got inside this little mystery uh pineapple and we'll take a look at all the Garfield stuff that we did pick up as well as a little taste test. Okay, so let's get into the Garfield stuff here. I think we both were the most excited for this right now. Oh, yeah. The whole drive over here, we were talking about, like, man, I really, like, I was solid. Like, I really want to try those chips. Mm -hmm. I love nacho flavored things. I mean, almost more than nachos themselves, actually. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try it out here. Nacho average potato chips. You can't make nachos and not use the, the pun and the, the usage of the word nacho. Nacho. It's, it's just free real estate. Many chip years ago, we turned the potato chip world upside down. We chose heat and pressure instead of grease and deep fryers to create the original pop. The rest is delicious history. Grab a bag and enjoy without sacrifice. That made me even more excited. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go and try one here. You wanna go and take one? Yeah. So it kind of looks like a rice cake a little bit. So we'll give it a scale of one to 10 as to how it tastes. Well, you're already eating oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it a scale of one to 10 on how it tastes. Let me go ahead and try it now. It mm. tastes like a rice cake for real. Yeah, hmm. It really tastes like a rice cake with cheese on it. Mm. That is really good. Let's see how much it costs. Actually, surprisingly cheap, $3. That's cheaper than Doritos nowadays. Doritos are like, I don't know where you guys live, but for me, it's like $6 for a bag of Doritos. Would you say it's better than a Dorito? Oh, no. No, yeah. It's not better than Doritos, but it's healthier, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it feels healthier because it tastes like rice. I, I don't really yeah. like the consistency that much, I like but it. I'm still eating them. Yes, like you cannot stop eating. Once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it however many I ate so far. A seven, I think, out of That's 10. What are you thinking? I'll do eight. An eight? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Karina gave it an eight. She gives everything a 10. So your eight is equivalent to my like two. No! <laughs> So that's basically a two right there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with, uh, I guess I went with a seven, you went with an eight, so that gives it a 7.5 out of 10. Overall, great snack though. If it was at a group gathering, I would eat some. Would I choose it for myself? If it has Garfield on it, yeah. <laughs> And I must admit something. You ate it. The lady that handed it to me just gave it to me like this. Yeah, it was, right. Uh, pretty beat up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I ate the suckers that were in them. I mean, you think I just let those suckers sit there the whole night? It's a good sucker. <laughs> <laughs> The strawberry, they're the best. But I did not, I did not reveal who we had in the pineapple. First off, the design here is epic. I love it. They have like these miscellaneous SpongeBob windows on there. Some of these windows are not even in his house, especially this bottom one down here. And we don't have his infamous appearing in a uh, disappearing garage. But let's go ahead and see who do we think we got. I'm guessing, I'm guessing Patrick. I really want Sandy, but I'm guessing Patrick. Bob. Bob? Yes. Robert. <laughs> 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 All right, so what's cool is you just push this up and it's gonna reveal it. Ah! Mr. Krabs! <laughs> Money. <laughs> <laughs> You thought that this was gonna be three dollars, didn't you, me boy? <laughs> New. <laughs> five dollars, uh, five and below. Yeah, I'm gonna maximize that price. <laughs> so it's the Mr. This Kraft. Is sticker. Yeah, very small. Oh! What? That's cool. The stickers are super tiny. Oh, it's for the door and uh, the windows. It's for everything. You have all of the stickers right there. You have, you can put on the windows of SpongeBob's house along with him at the doorway 
And of course, if Squidward was in SpongeBob's house and he had to be doing anything uh, in particular, what would he be doing? He would be doing the thing. It's the 25th anniversary, baby, and the thing still stays strong. <laughs> I mean, I showed in a video I just filmed for the archive channel. If you guys haven't checked out, if you guys haven't checked out the archive channel, I just did a new video over there. A lot of you guys loved it. It's a new style of content we're doing over there that I'm really enjoying. I checked out the complete season one box set. And in that set, you can see when the first ever box set of SpongeBob Squidward doing the thing. 25 years later, here we are, baby. He's still doing it. <laughs> And we got Mr. Krabs in there. One thing I will say is that you get one less sucker because in the other one, they come with two suckers and there's one inside. But you get the figure instead, so it's all good. And he has a cool little base. And then look what he's sitting on. Money! Yeah, either le money or like a little, little stack of lettuce or <laughs> a cabbage. Not the most detailed figure ever but he's still really, really cool. And I can't wait to collect this whole set. I thought it was gonna be more like squishy, but it's actually nice. Okay, so that's my mystery item here. Okay, and then we have this. Oh. So who on this, they don't have your favorite, which I believe is named Cinnamon Row. Yes. Which are you hoping for here? Mmm, good question. <laughs> the best questions, that's what I'm chock full of them. <laughs> um, my melody, uh, this guy here. Okay, this guy here is named Pom Pom Paris. Pom Pom Paris. I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna create to open this up and see what she gets. All right, let's take a look here and see what you got. I got chocolate. <laughs> yeah. All right, so open open it up over here close to the camera. All right, so she's gonna open it up for you. Let's see what do you have here. What is it? I don't know yet. I can't even see it. Oh my god. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's Karomi. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you always end up pulling her. <laughs> there you go. So she got her little mystery. I mean, they're they're really tiny, but super cute too. All right. So there you go. Okay, I'm gonna give it to you. Don't, don't, calm down. All right. I'm not taking it. I'm not gonna eat it or something. <laughs> there you go. Okay. And then next up, we have the Garfield album with sexy Garfield in the front. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same shot they use of Garfield uh, right now on Sunset Drive in Los Angeles. They have a giant size 3D mold that has fur on it for Garfield. Uh, fur? Yeah, on the billboard. A billboard of this image with fur and animatronic eyes that blink and close. Yeah, they blink really close, slowly though, so when it's blinking, like at the start it looks pretty interesting, and then towards the end you look super sinister. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is a really slow blink, we'll put it on screen here. <laughs> But they're doing crazy stuff. Like they even have a bus where the bus has like fur carpet. The whole bus is covered in Garfield's fur. And it says the Garfield movie on it. They have bus stops with Garfield statues on top of them. It is crazy. This movie is like a an example of what film releases for animated movies should be like. It should be a movement. It should be an experience. And kind of remember that the SpongeBob movie, how big it was. You know, that's what really makes those things stand out in your memory as a kid is not just the movie itself but almost the experience and the culture that was behind it seeing the commercials everywhere seeing the snapchat filters nowadays seeing billboards bus stops everything just making you so excited for the day that movie drops and you don't get that as much these days you know and i i, I want to say nickelodeon to an extent because like i said paramount is actually selling some of the garfield merchandise i personally think they are behind some of the marketing and some of the campaign for this movie because it reminds me very much of the TMNT release that we got. It had the same kind of uh, kiosk in the middle of the store, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you were there for that. The promotion, as far as the merchandise, how things are kind of coming out, feels very like that TMNT movie. And Nickelodeon is just killing it with that. I'm gonna give Sony credit for this one because, you know, it's their film. But boy, is it awesome. And getting into the topic here, we have the Garfield vinyl here and look at the design of the vinyl. I'll get a close-up shot. It's actually got like a translucent uh, Garfield kind of orange and black tie-dye look to it. And you have some banger songs on here, some classics, and I'm assuming Assuming some originals just for this movie. We have Good Life. We have Let It Roll with Keith Urban and Snoop Dogg. DJ, please, could you play my song? Some of these we might not even be able to add Snoop a clip. Dogg. Yeah, Snoop Dogg's in everything, like ever. <laughs> 
He was in a SpongeBob. Like anywhere Snoop Dogg can fit his way in, Snoop Dogg will be there. I, Snoop Dogg was, was probably a part of your birth watching this. Like he was probably in the doctor's office, like helping deliver you. That kid's what's up, my man. Oh. <laughs> the worst Snoop Dogg impression ever. <laughs> Did you like my Snoop Dogg impersonation? It was awesome. <laughs> I thought you were going to say awful. That would have been more <laughs> accurate. <laughs> but Snoop Dogg is just everywhere. So of course, of course Snoop Dogg's in here. You can't do anything without Snoop Dogg. Danny DeVito or Shaq. Like if it's anything, one of those three will be in it. My preferred is Shaq, but all of them are amazing. We also have Then There Was You. Then there was you. We have Bring It On and Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. We have Meet Garfield. I'm back. Flashback. That's some more. And Pine Cone. You love Italian music, huh? <laughs> you love Italian music. You've said the same thing about the Olive Garden, I how you love the music there. And then I said, that's a more, and you're like, ooh. I'm Italian without knowing it. That explains why everything that I see you eat for lunch has like tomato sauce involved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's a more is on there. So I'll let you, let you borrow this if you want. So you can listen to that track. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and pretend you're an Olive Garden. <laughs> but awesome album. I mean, vinyls are coming really back in uh, vogue, I guess. You know, they're really popular right now. So it's cool to see that they did a vinyl release. They also did a vinyl release for the SpongeBob movie. I'm going to keep drawing comparisons to the SpongeBob movie because I'm uh, insane. And that's what I'm thinking about actively at the same time. <laughs> a normal person probably doesn't think about SpongeBob at any given moment, but... Eh, welcome to the show. So, <laughs> the SpongeBob movie also had a vinyl release, but it's crazy to think almost 20, or well, yeah, literally 20 years, 20 years later, they're still releasing vinyls. <laughs> okay, the next up here, we have the Garfield toothbrushes here, and it has three different toothbrushes on there. You've got Garfield, you've got one with Garfield and Odie, and a spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, I said it three times, so they have to and not be mad. That is Garfield's dad. So I haven't fully watched the Garfield movie trailer yet. The reason why is because a lot of times trailers these days, they give away way too much. But a lot of you guys told me in the comments that that character is Garfield's dad. That's uh, voiced by Samuel Jackson. And now we know. Now I know. And now I'm stuck with this. So now you're stuck with this. So <laughs> well, you know, welcome to the partly spoiled club. Okay. So these toothbrushes, they also have a suction cup right here. So you can actually put them anywhere you want in your house. You can put them on the back of your toilet. You can put them oh, in the fridge maybe if you wanted to um, next to your garbage disposal just anywhere where stuff can splash onto it <laughs> Because it has this little cover. You don't have to worry about pee droplets getting on it. It's really cute. Yeah, it's lenticular. So it's double the cute. It's cute and then it's cute this way too. <laughs> <laughs> so Garfield the movie toothbrushes. You gotta love it. Then we got one more item. I'm gonna save this one for last. Let's go ahead and check this out. So this is not Garfield movie related. But these are Garfield cookies. So they're uh, like hand made by you cookies. But... They were $10. I mean, it's not that bad, actually, now that I think about it. The packaging itself is really cool. But you, you do have to do part of the job for them. We have six cookies. Yeah, and you get some Crayola markers to paint them. So let's go ahead and open this up. It's kind of designed like a little Happy Meal almost. That's one thing I guess we didn't get. With most movies like that are animated, they get like Burger King or McDonald's like toy releases. I don't think we got that for Garfield. Oh. Unfortunately. They do have a new SpongeBob one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's at Burger King right now, but he's not the man of the hour right now. I'm sorry. So let's take a look. These look really good. They kind of look like Pop Tarts. Ooh, that's cute. Yeah, so you have Garfield and Odie. Oh, you got Garfield and Odie. <laughs> and oh my goodness, look at this one. What? It's Garfield and who? Odie. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. And then you've got. Odie? There's a lot of Odie in this bag. You got two Odies. Everybody loves Odie. <laughs> Odie. That's what I say, Audi. Sorry. Everybody loves Odie, I guess. And then Garfield. It's his movie. They call it the Odie movie. <laughs> All right, so which one do you want? I call the Garfield one. I'm going to get Odie. <laughs> Odie? <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna go with Odie or and Garfield or just Odie? Just Odie. Okay, okay, so just Odie. So Odie and Garfield, the one that we have the most of, these will go to the side for now.
All right, there he goes. He looks pretty cool, huh? <laughs> All right, so now Karina's gonna do Hody. Okay, so now taking a look at mine, mine says, you know Garfield hates Mondays. Mine says, I hate Monday. I ate Monday. Oh. And you wanna know the cookie's name? Monday. Monday. So I'm gonna eat Monday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and show them yours. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and try them out here. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Mmm, they're really good. It's a little dry. Tastes like lemon. Yeah, it does kind of have a lemony taste, but there's no lemon in this. I think it's just a sugar cookie, but it does have a lemony taste for some reason. Oh my god. Man, do not eat this in the car. Do not eat these in the car at a sanitary hospital in a surgery room. <laughs> your lips are blue now. <laughs> do not eat this over your patient in a surgery room because there will be crumbs everywhere. I got to clean this up. But rating on the cookies, the process, I'm going to give a 10. Oh, that was so fun. Super fun. Way funner than just regular old food. But the taste, I'm going to give like a 6. Cookies yeah. are eh. I don't really like lemon stuff. Yeah. So what are you ranking? Hmm. 8.5. Wow, that's a high rating. Okay, so I give it a 6, you give it an 8.5. You like the reaction? Wow. <laughs> you guys hearing this? Multiple Spongebobs around the room? That's crazy. 8.5, okay, I'm giving it a... Oh, I already gave it a rating. <laughs> well, so I guess that gives it an average of like a 7, a 7.5. Uh, I think it's a little high, but you know, that's a, a synopsis number. They're, they're a lot of fun for $10. So next up we have Garfield, the little golden book here. And it says Garfield the movie up there and it's got the adorable Garfield with the giant fork and big meatball. We'll go ahead, I don't wanna go through the whole book and tell you guys like what happens because it is a little bit of a spoiler to the intro of the movie. Therefore, I don't really wanna read it that much either, but I will get a couple little shots here. This is you when you hear the music at Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> There's this giant plate of spaghetti and Garfield looking at it in all of its glory. The breadsticks, everything. It looks really good actually though. And then we have Garfield talking about Mondays. And it says, we should go directly from Sunday to Tuesday. But I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Very true. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't mind Mondays that much. <laughs> As a kid, though, oh, oh, it's the start of, of all things that were horrid. School. <laughs> all right. That is actually... Oh, wait a minute. I was wrong. This Sandy, actually, we picked up at, at Five Below. This is from the fig pen line that came out in 2020. I could have just looked at where it said in the back the uh, trademark date, but I didn't notice it. It just it just wasn't that familiar to me. But we do already have this one in the collection, so part of me is like debating, do we put it on the pin board? Or do I keep it in the box? Uh, I guess we'll put it on the pin board. So let's put Sandy. What if we give it on people and whatnot? I like that more because we already have one in the collection. And if I put this one on the pin board, I would have like felt instinctively like I had to put all of them at some mm. point on there. But what we'll do is I'm gonna give this away to somebody on our whatnot streams. We do giveaways every single Friday <laughs> on whatnot. So go stick, go check it out if you guys haven't already. You guys know you get $15 for free when you sign up towards your first purchase. We do some awesome auctions over there, selling off a lot of doubles, fun stuff that we talk about here on this show. People and every, are really sweet. Too. And people are extremely nice over there. There's some, we have a lot of fun and the community gets so much more involved there in our whatnot stream. So if you wanna be a part of that, come hang out with us there. It's every single Friday. And don't forget you also can sign up for our Patreon, which will get you in our Discord. It's only $2 a month and you get 100% ad free and extended versions of every video that I upload on Comfort Cartoons, as well as in some cases, early releases. And I'm even adding some extended content on the videos that I'm doing on my archive channel as well. So there's a bunch of fun stuff going on on Patreon. Plus you get the Discord. You can make new friends. You can make new friends. You're gonna get taller. You're gonna have you're gonna power. you're gonna have superpowers. Uh, it's two dollars a month. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> go check it out. Uh, we we had to put a little uh, small disclaimer. print uh, disclaimer on the bottom there. Maybe not the superpower part, but some other stuff. Yes, <laughs> go check it out and stay tuned. We're gonna add a couple items here to the collection. But before that, you guys know the trail. Scan it! So the pineapple pop-up is going up here with the army of Spongebob houses. I mean, a community, if you will. 
where the HOA rules are only two things, sweetness and kindness. And Crab Daddy is going right up here with all the other Crab Daddies. So as for the chips here, Hunter wants some. Very much so. <laughs> but you can't eat these, because they're not, they're not, well I guess, maybe you can, but they're vegan, so you probably won't like them. <laughs> it's because he's a dog, he eats meat, he's vegan, it's gonna be great. I know, I'm sorry, everybody's mad. <laughs> So we're gonna put this here in our little Walmart cart. That's where the pop chips are gonna stay for the time being. And Hunter is gonna be, remain upset about this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't, I'm sorry. I, that's a good argument, but no. So this will probably not stay here. Uh, when you do the Cartoon Network room tour, you guys are gonna see more of the shelving, so we're gonna try to keep it in here. But I'm putting the Garfield book and the album right here on this little shelf because it's not completely filled up. Right now there's still a lot of room for extra stuff. Uh, I just kind of elongated things to take up room. So while the Garfield hype is still real for me until we see the movie and everything like that, I'm gonna put it here just to remind me of everything going on right now with our main man Garfield. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smack the like button, subscribe if you're new here again. Go check out the Patreon if you guys are interested. And don't forget we're live on Whatnot every single Friday. All all those links are down in the description. I'll see you guys in this video right here. And as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios and